Music has always been an integral part of my writing. Not only do I write to music, but I think of my writing in terms of music. The words must flow in certain rhythms, and the story has its own rhythms. In a way, it's like orchestrating your characters. By Robert Jordan. Uh, that's a little expert by uh, Robert Jordan at the back of his book when he's trying to sell you something. But uh, the soundtrack. But uh, it was a good quote. Uh, I've been talking a lot about how uh, reading and f how the words flow. And that was good that I caught this quote because, uh, yeah, it was uh, exactly how I feel. How uh, some writers, like Robert Jordan here, you could f the writing just flows. You know, you could go sentence to sentence to paragraph to paragraph, page after page, and not stop. It flows so beautifully. Not like with other writers like uh, James S. A. Corey, which I have learned is actually two writers. Uh, and yeah, you can really tell the difference too. Maybe, you know, Robert Jordan's obviously a legend, but writing's hard and you can really tell even two people combined can't make one Robert Jordan. So that was a good quote that, uh, got me thinking this morning. And this is my, uh, week, my week's review for the first week in March. And it was a good reading, uh, week, you know, I, uh, well, you know, for the most part, uh, I got the expanse done and, uh, yeah, that wasn't very good. And then I also, you know, it wasn't a very good, uh, week. The two books I did read the strange in the mirror. That was awful. My, uh, my Oprah Winfrey club book, my Reese Witherspoon book club of the month book that I uh, get out of the low free libraries that I'm trying out. I think I might stop that time is too precious to be wasting on books like that, I guess. But uh, the highlights of my week were the Mara Conley, the Man Without Women, the, the Drive My Car. That was, I think this that's going to win my uh, best story of the week, this week. And then uh, the Conan story that I, I started, the Phoenix in the Sword, uh, Phoenix on the Sword. Yeah, and I'm uh, anxious to read more Conan and Murakami. And I am going to finish up the, the Expanse uh stick with it you know uh i i i heard on some of the youtube channels that uh he didn't know if he was going to get a deal or not or uh you know it wasn't a planned series so maybe that's a little reason why it's a little shaky but then you know it has the 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 blurbs from uh george r r martin you know and then it says, and one, and you know, read about the authors that one of them was the assistant to George R. R. Martin. So maybe that, you know, I don't know, politics, how it happens. You know, how did you get a writing deal when so many other writers aren't published? And I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with it. And I'm still, I'm gonna make a video about how uh, capitalism in sci-fi, how, you know. Uh, for people who could think of the future, they can't see an end to capitalism, and that's a damn shame. But yeah, that's what I'm reading right now, and what I got done reading. And uh, today, I am uh, I went to the dollar store and picked up some uh, some notebooks, some pens, and some uh, some sticky notes to uh, better take notes to for these videos. You know, I wanna I wanna do better. You know, I've seen. I'm getting a little jealous at my, I want to learn how to edit. I want to learn, I want to get a thousand views, you know, it would be, you know, not that, you know, I guess hey, that's what everybody wants if they're pinning their face out there and they want, you know, they want people to like their opinions and follow them and be interested. And, you know, I do it, I do it my own on uh, some of the YouTube people, you know, I follow their little vlogs and their lives and everything. And, you know, uh, I guess that's the way the world is nowadays, you know, because uh, a lot of people are isolated, you know, due to capitalism. Again, a lot of people are isolated, especially readers. I think, uh, you know, because uh, reading for me is a very, you know, yeah, I don't want I don't want my friend here playing on his phone while I'm trying to read. I don't that's just distracting for me, you know, uh, reading should quiet time. Let me get into this, you know. So, and uh, I also wanted to get into uh, why I started this channel and why I started reading. I haven't really talked about that. And uh, I'm trying to, uh, this is my little therapy to be sober, I guess. Uh, not to get too personal with strangers. 
but you know, uh, I had addiction problems with alcohol and uh, I'm one, this is also my one year, um, March 1st was my one year of sobriety. And uh, you know, that's kind of, you know, I think everybody needs something to keep them focused. You know, I had my, uh, my workout kick, you know, last year and uh, the year before that, I've been trying to, you know, get in shape, walking more and just eating healthy. But, uh, you know, that could get tiresome. And I'm at that point where I could do a good workout once a week and still feel pretty good. You know, I'm not losing muscle. I'm not, I could work on my smoking. You know, I'm a big weed smoker. But uh, let me have my own vices, please. <laughs> you know? <clears throat> but yeah, I think, and I want to make good videos. So if I want to make good videos, I'm going to have to invest. And uh, I'm not usually make, I'm not usually one to make annotations, but I could tell by the way I'm making the videos that, you know, the notes I'm taking, I need to be more organized, especially if I want to, you know, instead of being all over the place. And uh, yeah, and eventually I'm going to learn about the editing and maybe put a little bit more time and effort into uh, a camera and save more money. I don't know, you know, I don't want to get too into it. But then again, you know, and I'm also going to be doing another uh, book haul. I'm getting that ready. I'm waiting for some more packages to come. I'm not sure how many packages I don't, I'm pretty much at the point where I'm just buying whatever I, I see, you know, uh, if I like it, I'm going to pick it up, you know, uh, life's too short. If you want it, uh, you know, what are you saving this money for? You know, uh, you can't take it with you. Enjoy it while you can. That, and then that's turning into a problem because maybe, uh, I'm getting too many books. I got enough books right now to last me a couple years, a few years. And, uh, getting around to that, and that's back to why I should maybe stop reading those, uh, free low library books, the Reese Witherspoon, Oprah Winfrey books, you know, uh, time's too precious and maybe, you know, but you know, those are also just one day quick reads, you know, that, and it's, uh, I have to admit it's kind of soap opery, soap opery where you kind of want to see what happens too. So if you enjoy it, you know, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, I think it's a uh, good mental health. You know, I don't see a psychiatrist anymore. Uh, things happen. Most of them quit. You know, I got uh, some government state sponsored healthcare. So, uh, you know, you see the therapist, they want you to, and then, you know, they're, you're lucky if they last a year, maybe. So I haven't really been going into that kind of thing anymore, but, uh, but you know, I think this is going to be good. One year sober, that's a big deal for me. And, uh, if paying my, uh, this is what I keep on saying, you know, uh, you can't, you can't read when you're drunk. Or you can, you just don't, you know, I've done it before. You can't remember. It doesn't make any sense. You don't really want to. But uh, again, not to get too personal. But I guess that's what this is here for, for me to talk into the void and uh, express my feelings about books and life and everything. You know, uh, and escapism. I'll try not to talk too much about politics and life in general. You know, if you watch the news, you know everything's not hunky dory in the world and not even you know a lot of depression a lot of anxiety a lot of uh isolation going on in this country i'm noticing but uh you know you gotta keep your head strong and um i hate to say it like that but you gotta take care of yourself first you know i i you know charity and and helping others is always good, you know, it's, you know, rake up those good deeds, you know, it'll pay off. Karma is a thing, I believe. But like, we shouldn't have to depend, you know, there was a thing in this book about charity. And uh, it took me off, too, because, you know, if the government was supposed to be doing what it's supposed to be doing, we wouldn't need charities. Charities is just really another tax on you, just like the lottery, you know. But like I said, I try not to get too political. But those are some of the things on my mind. You know, my family's all doing good. You know, thank God. Everyone's healthy. And, uh, you know, I'm a little... Uh, you know, just staying sober is on my uh, mind mostly right now. And uh, not that I think about drinking often. Or, you know, it pops in your head every now and then, of course. But uh, just stay focused. And, you know... It's hard to believe that things will get better, but things do get better, you know? And uh, I think I'm reading faster, honestly. Uh, maybe maybe that's just because of the flow of the words. 
And yeah, I really like that quote. But I'm enjoying the... And then uh, Winter's Heart is nice because it's cold as hell out over here in Seattle. And the rest of the country is cold. But uh, yeah, just stick with the routine. Make a plan. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, try to socialize more. I'm, uh, since I moved in here, I haven't really... Uh, socialize people with people my new neighbors and such you know as as a uh, as easy as it is to say it is difficult meeting new people Pete. you know you just don't go up to strangers you know or just, i wouldn't want a stranger coming up to me just making random conversation if i'm doing something and i don't know everybody's different you know but like i said i think just being a, a reader is isolating in itself so maybe that's another thing to overcome but uh but it's also about keeping the right people uh, around you too and keeping away bad influences so that's another thing to keep in mind and even though you know it might be lonely as you know it's a lot better than some other people are doing so always never take for granted you know the the, the things that you do have and uh, yeah I'm gonna read some more of this I'll probably be done with it in a few days you know uh the way I'm reading, I'm thinking about bumping up my reading from 150 to 200 pages a day just so I could uh, keep up and uh, start popping out these videos and reviews and get better. If, if this is what I'm really going to be doing, I got to get better. And taking notes and organizing and doing all that is uh, one of the keys. So, and I'm going to try to do this once a week and at the end of the month, and I'm going to do the book haul video. I'm a little embarrassed about how many books I'm getting and the amount of time I'm, um, I got to read it, but it's all right. You know, like I said, you can't take it with you and it's better than spending your money on this other bullshit that, you know, McDonald's and sodas and the stuff I want to avoid. You know, and alcohol, most of all. Weed, that's another story. You know, allow me my... I am in Seattle after all. But yeah, uh, and uh, you know, big news. Uh, I got a, a subscriber that wasn't a family member or friend. So, you know, maybe this is working out. Hello, whoever you are. Thank you for watching. And I uh, hope I didn't bore you. Uh, take care and like and subscribe.